Okay, so now this is the step that a lot of people don't really look at very much, and this is kind of like one of the more important steps, I think. Not the most important, but one of the more important. And that's going from this thing to this thing, right? This thing, all your ideas to this thing. And all you're going to do, please, don't just copy word for word each thing. What I would do, and this is what I'll do first, is I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to read. And uh, I have a feeling the word goals is going to be up here a lot. So I'm going to, in setting, look, setting goals, boom. Setting goals, boom. Setting goals, boom. Setting goals, boom. All right. So phrases like this that happen over and over, you may want to think of different ways you can say them, right? Uh, <clears throat> I really like my simile, so I'm going to leave that one. And I really like this one. All right. But I'll even start with goal setting. How about that? Goal setting. And then, like, I'm not writing as fast. So you can actually, like, understand what it looks like. Remember, you can't go outside the boxes. All right, and so that's our hook. Here comes our O. Some people. Some people believe. Setting goals. Setting goals um, could make a person. See, I started going too fast. See, a person. Take your time. Quit prematurely. However, in my opinion, setting goals Individuals, goals, future, because it helps them not feel overwhelmed. Keeps them focused. Boom! There's your first paragraph. You only need three more to go. And look, they're already written right here. <clears throat> Again, instead of setting goals, maybe I'll say goal setting. Because I kind of like the way that felt. But I'm not going to skip a line. I'm going to leave that because that... But I'll indent a little here.
keeps them from getting overwhelmed. And it's a small, different little change. It helps them from not feeling overwhelmed or it keeps them from getting overwhelmed. Small little change, but it will make a difference. It will make a difference. A good example of this. Stages in a video game. Right? When mastering a video game, when mastering a game. stages prepare you instead of get you ready prepare you prepare you for the final battle against Good. The stages, uh, and I'm reading the stuff that I've written here, but I'm just changing it when I read here because sometimes you have to read something and it just sounds better in another way. So my sentence is, when a game has several stages, it gives you chances to practice and practice makes perfect. Uh, so instead I can say, the opportunity to practice comes in playing the stages and helping the playing the stages and helping the player sharpen their skills. That sounds much better than what I had. Taking things taking things piece by piece and setting goals helps you stay focused. Mister Yes. I'm running to the bathroom. My kids, you know. When you take things piece by piece set goals it allows you to stay focused boom that's two paragraphs right <clears throat> so I said it was going to allow you to stay focused so when a person is focused it helps uh, helps them when a person is focused it helps them create goals and it's important to their future when a person when a person when a person is focused Okay, and now because the um, because the bell's rung and because my class is coming in, I'm going to go ahead and stop right there. But you get the gist. You're basically taking all this information here and putting it here. 
but as you do, you're revising and editing, so that way you write a better paper with this final piece. If there you have any questions, I'll be on the stage. You can ask me, and uh, I'll talk to you then. All right, good luck.